Now, Kenyans want their money collected under President William Ruto's affordable housing scheme, a levy that the court suspended, very funded. This follows the court appeals decision to dismiss an application by the government to have the High Court ruling declaring the fund unconstitutional suspended. A three judge bench, led by Justice Lydia Achudi, John Mativu, and Moniki Gashuka, on Friday, January 26, ruled in favor of the public interest in the matter. The government's decisions sparked mixed reaction from Kenyans with some asking for a refund of the money collected. Their reaction read this under quote. The Court of Appeal has declared your imposed housing levy unconstitutional. Could you please tell us if we are going to get our refund please? Another one. The government should just abolish that housing levy. It is exploitative and they have no solid plan to build houses. Another one. Don't just yet celebrate the Court of Appeal's ruling of housing levy till the matter clears the entire hierarchy of courts, that is the Supreme Court, considering the Chief Justice went there the other day, tears galore loading, and of quote, another one, President Ruto and his team must go back to the drawing board and come with a solution. Another one, Kenyans are happy now as the appeal court refuses to allow housing levy deductions pending appeal on decision declaring levy unconstitutional. Another one, so are we going to refund for the housing levy taxes we've been illegally deducted. Another one, Malietu Ilioliwa Nanzigi, housing levy, Erudishwe. Another one, zero number of Kenyans of sound mind disappointed by the ruling on housing levy. Another one, housing levy is a wonderful idea and it can change several Kenyan lives if done the right way. I guess it's just a matter of doing the right thing the wrong way. Another one, court is the only board that is not corrupt in Kenya. Today is the first time I have have seen justice being served on the housing levy case. I never thought the government can lose anything. And of course, this is some Cuba news.